Let's talk about the best certifications for penetration testers slash offensive security. But this time, we will do it multi-levels, associate, professional, and expert. We're not gonna include malware slash exploit development certifications. They are offensive security, yes, but not really penetration testing. So, anyone can have their own best certifications. But this is my list, my strategy. I will explain why I chose these certifications over other penetration testing certifications out there. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, named Steen Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Under associate level, we have CompTIA Pentest Plus. This exam consists of multiple choice questions and it covers various domains related to penetration testing. This includes planning and scoping, information gathering, vulnerability identification, attacks and exploits, reporting and communication, and many more. The exam consists of maximum 85 questions and typically given 165 minutes. Next, EJPT or eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester. This certification is earned by passing a hands-on practical exam. The exam conducted entirely online and consists of real-world penetration testing scenarios. Candidates are provided with virtual lab environment where they must identify vulnerabilities and exploit them and produce a detailed penetration testing reports. And next, oh, ho, ho. we don't have next, we stop here. The strategy here is take only minimal associate level certifications. Two associate level penetration testing certification should be the maximum, then proceed to the mid slash professional level. That's the strategy. No CEH, no GPEN certifications. And by the way, do you know the sexist post and the sexist action made by EC Council back in 2021? Yeah, it was a gender survey scandal. It didn't get popular though. So here's what I'm gonna do. I will make a separate vlog about it. It would be fun. Let's now move to the professional level. Now, there are two main types of penetration testing. The first one, I would call it generic, or sometimes I call it infrastructure penetration testing, because the target varies from Active Directory, network devices, evading antivirus, accessing Windows servers, and many more. And the second type is web application penetration testing. This kind of penetration testing is quite obvious. The targets are web applications or web servers or web-based APIs. Now, web application can be complicated and there are many different attacks and exploits, such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, CSFR or cross-site request forgery, SSRF or server-side request forgery, IDOR, web application DDoS, and many more. That's why there is a dedicated certification path for web applications. So for the generic slash infrastructure penetration testing professional level certifications, I would go for OSCP or Offensive Security Certified Professional. And the next one is ECPPT or eLearn Security Certified Professional Penetration Tester. There is already a comparison, a comparison video between these two certifications. Which one is vector? So please check the link below for more details. For the web application penetration testing, professional level certification, I would go for the same organizations. The first one is OSWA, stands for Offensive Security Web Assessor. And EWPT stands for e-learn security 
Web Application Penetration Tester. I'm going to start preparing for OSWA, maybe the end of the year, as I take the exam. Um, I should be able to take the exam early next year. I just to finish, I just need to finish, excuse me, some of the other certifications in my list. And this includes Pentest Plus. Now, let's move to the expert level. We will keep the two types of penetration testing. The first one is the generic slash infrastructure penetration testing, and the other one is the web application penetration testing. We will also keep the two certification organizations. These are Offensive Security and eLearn Security. And why? Because once you pass these certifications, you don't need to recertify. There are no expiration. Yes. And I already mentioned this to my other videos that I have a huge respect for those practical hands-on lab certification exams. So for the generic slash infrastructure penetration testing expert level certification, we'll just do an upgrade. These are OSEP and ECPTX. OSEP stands for Offensive Security Experience Penetration Tester. And ECPTX stands for eLearn Security Certified Penetration Tester Extreme. These are the expert level certifications. And this is an upgrade of OSCP and ECPPT. And the exam is longer. For example, OSCP or Offensive Security Certified Professional is just one day lab and one day for documentation and reports. OSEP, the expert level, is now 48 hours for hands-on lab and another 48 hours for documentation and reporting. Now for the ECPPT, also takes only 48 hours for the lab exam and a further 48 hours to make the reports. Okay, let's go for the web application penetration testing expert level certification. We will do an upgrade again from OSWA, we'll now upgrade it to OSWE or Offensive Security Web Expert. And from EWPT, we'll upgrade to EWPTX, stands for eLearn Security Web Penetration Tester Extreme. And uh, okay, so for OSWE, they're saying it's the most difficult and you are required to create scripts. So meaning you need to code. You need to code either Python, PHP, Perl, or Bash scripting. All right, so OSWE is just like OSEP when it comes to how long the exam itself. It's 48 hours lab exam and another 24 hours for documentation and reports. Now for EWPT and EWPTX, both takes a total of 14 days. Yes, it's the longest exam from our list. Seven days for lab exam and another seven days for reporting. We're not done yet. There is a special track, especially if you are more into web application penetration testing. We will add our favorite tool, Burp Suite. Yes, there is a Burp Suite certification. But before you take the actual exam, you have to complete first exercises. And we have three levels. We will start learning Burp Suite on the first tier or the apprentice level. And it consists of 50 exercises. You can start the exercises while or after preparing for the associate level certifications, such as CompTIA, Pentest Plus, or EJPT. Next, we have Burp Suite practitioner level exercises, and it consists of 130 exercises. I know, it's too many, but this would really help you understand many different web attacks, and it will also help you pass OSWA and EWPT. Next, the expert level. This consists of 30 exercises. And once you finish these exercises, it's time to take the Verb Suite Certified Practitioner exam. The exam is a four hour long practical lab exam. 
They're saying Burp Sweet Certified Practitioner Exam is not as difficult as OSWE or EWPTX. So I personally recommend to take this certification first for the expert level. Oh, so what do you think? Are you disappointed because some of the certifications you are expecting is not in my list? Well, <laughs> that is life. All right, so here are the reasons why I didn't include this certification. First, we have CEH from EC Council. Well, they have a very bad recertification strategy and their sexist post. Yeah, that's why. We also have TCM security certifications. Mm, not popular yet. I might add them to my list in a year or two. All right, GX certifications. Well, in general, they are crazy expensive and has a ridiculous renewal process and cost. So there you go.